Hi guys, today I will be reviewing two face washes from VLCC. Now I had mentioned both of these in my Nykaa haul video and had promised to make a video on them once I use it and I experience what exactly these face washes claim and what exactly are they up to. So today I'll be talking about the Wild Turmeric face wash and the Snidha face wash both from VLCC. So keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the Wild Turmeric face wash. This is for all skin types, antiseptic cleanser for healthy skin. Uh, this one came for 140 rupees and you get 80 ml of the product. This natural cleanser with pure honey and turmeric extract has rich antiseptic properties that protect your skin from daily exposure to harsh environments. It removes microbes and pollutants from the pores, leaving skin refreshed and tingling. It smells of turmeric even though in the uh, ingredients they have not mentioned lavender anywhere but I do get a strong smell of lavender. It's a gel based face wash. It cleanses your skin really well. It does not foam a lot but it has a mild to moderate foaming capacity. It is not a cleanser but which is going to lather up your entire face. It, it is going to make your face all white with the lather. It is not one of those face washes. Cleansing wise this is a good option. It does uh, help in reducing acne. That's what I realized because when I started using it, I had a few bouts of acne here and there. It did help in controlling my acne, but I am not seeing by any means that this is going to uh, get rid of your acne completely. It's going to help you remove all the acne scars and pimples and all of that. It's not going to do anything of that sort. But if you are looking for a cleanser which does remove all the impurity, which does uh, remove that certain uh, bouts of inflammation in your face then this is a good option for you if you're a person basically who travels a lot then this could be something which you should be looking forward to purchasing now moving on to the next face wash which is the snidha face wash so this is basically a skin whitening face wash which has aloe vera and saffron again meant for all skin types it lightens and brightens your skin I did not buy it for any whitening claims that it made because I know no face wash is capable of doing it. Firstly, secondly, I picked up because I thought it would do something for my tan face. I did have a few patches of tan here and there. The description says a gentle mild formulation with saffron and aloe vera which removes the oil, dirt and grime without drying your skin. Saffron known for its whitening properties helps to brighten the skin while aloe vera helps to soothe and heal the skin. This is something which is really true to its claims. Apart from the whitening part, I think removing the dirt, removing the grime without drying the skin, this face wash is not going to lather at all. And I'm going to warn you, if you're a person who feels face washes that lather only cleanse your face, please don't pick this up. I used little amount and I went ahead and used a lot of this face wash, but the results were same. It never dried my skin. In fact, there are times when I could skip my moisturizer completely while using this face wash because it really hydrates your skin. I think it's because of the aloe vera content that they have. Uh, I don't know about the whitening claims. It did not do anything for my tan. Then again, by the time I started using this, I had already used the previous face wash, the wild turmeric face wash for like about 10 days. And then I started on with this one. And it kind of continued doing the same thing to my skin. It did not break me out by any sorts. So if I had to choose between the two face washes, I would go for the Wild Turmeric face wash uh, at the night time and the Snidha face wash during the day. Wild Turmeric at night because uh, at the end of the day, I know it's going to remove all the dirt and all the impurities from my skin. And Snidha during the day because I know previous night I have not used anything much but just a night cream and a moisturizer. So there's not much to be removed and this is a moisturizing face wash. So that's about the VLCC face washes. Talking about the cons, uh, I wish they came in smaller tubes so that I could put it in my purse, I could carry them around and wash my face during breaks. Uh, secondly, what I did not like about these face washes is especially the Snidha face wash does contain paraben. When it's VLCC, when there's no animal testing, when it's absolutely herbal, I expected these face washes to be paraben free. So if you're a person who hates paraben to the core, please do not pick up this face wash. Uh, even though the wild turmeric face wash does contain only natural ingredients, this one does not contain any paraben. So this could be a better bet. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm going to see you all super soon. Bye.